the slow race who's going to win the slow race oh it's neck and neck Range Rover just pulling forward just pulling forward oh it's a Peugeot going to get it on the bend oh it's the Range Rover yay the crowd go wild So it's a beautiful day again and sad in some respects. And as I say, sad in some respects, but I don't know, a new beginning maybe? Not a new beginning. New bike is on the horizon. If only it was fixed. Uh, so yes, the Ethiopian is leaving my ownership yes yeah, so the Ethiopian is going and <laughs> and I bought a Hayabusa which completely contradicts everything I said about downsizing all my bikes to downsizing all my bikes to keep my speeds down and be safer on the road and all that sort of nonsense yes um, yeah it does uh, contradict everything I've said about um, as I say downsizing my bikes to try and keep the top speeds down I've always wanted a Hayabusa and I sort of I don't know put it out of my mind when I did downsize everything and And just recently, I don't seem to be getting on with this Ethiopian. Um, it's probably because I'm old. It's probably because my brain is now soup. That I really don't seem to get on with the bike. It's very flighty very quick to manoeuvre and my brain just doesn't keep up with it <laughs> my brain just doesn't work like that <laughs> no nodding today I'm squidding, I'm squidding badly <laughs> shorts and t-shirt, I'm a terrible person there's no excuse for it, no excuse, bad person um, but I know I'll be stuck in traffic and it's very hot today and I didn't want to wear all my biking stuff thanks very much and until it is a legal requirement which they'll do one day I'll make the choice myself but there you go, enough about squidding it's just fun, try it. Try it instead of whinging about it. 
but don't fall off. Fucking hell, don't fall off. Blimey, with a centimetre of tarmac, you'll be down through your bone dead. It's as quick as that when you haven't got when you haven't got any textiles on. Yeah, so uh, as I say, I've never got never truly felt comfortable riding the Ethiopian. Yeah, that, I mean that's true. I mean here we are in slow traffic. My hand, my right, my throttle hand is already starting to hurt. Um, there's already some inner thigh. <laughs> inner thigh. Brrr. Pain. You know, I could get a gel seat, whatever. But it's not the point. It, it truly is. It's a remarkable bike, and it's a fast bike, and it is a sporty suspension, and it is lovely for cornering and all the rest of it. I just don't feel comfortable on it. As I say, it is just too flighty, too easy to flick, and I think ultimately what uh, what made my mind up was ultimately what made my mind up was getting the thousand. Um, which is going to, it is being street fired. You've probably seen some videos. Yeah, it, it's been street fired, but it's just so much, I wouldn't say heavier, it just feels so much planted, so much more planted when traveling and especially on cornering. It just does feel a lot better. And the fact that it is going to be street fighter. The Ethiopian just wouldn't get any use. Not when I've got one comfortable naked and one uncomfortable naked. Yeah, so I have found out that I much prefer lumps of bikes that you really need to make perform through corners. That you have to force them into changing directions. Whereas this thing, it's just, blimey, it's just so fly away. It is just so nimble. And I don't think my head can keep up with it. <laughs> he says buying a higher booster. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, you know, even if I only own it for a week, I'll have owned a higher booster. That will be my claim to fame. But there you go, yeah, the Ethiopian's going. They've given me a half decent deal on it. I wanted 5,500 for it. They offered me five grand and that's without them noticing what problems there were with it. Um, they did notice there was a nail in the back tire, which cost me 120 quid on the deal. If only, if only I'd parked it differently. Yeah, so I was after five five, they offered me five and I said Well initially I said um, no I want at least five thousand and this is out loud, this isn't a thought, <laughs> this is out loud. I said to the salesman, no, I want at least five thousand two hundred and fifty. And he sort of went, mm, I went, no, no, hang on a minute, no I don't. The minimum I actually want is five thousand four hundred. And he went, uh I went, but I'm willing to take the extra money in store credit. It's at Elf's Motorcycles that I'm buying this Hayabusa from. I said, I'll take it in store credit. And he went, oh, um, yeah, I think we can do that. Because I need, I want another crash helmet, I want some new jeans, possibly a jacket, and probably, well, definitely some new exhausts for the Hayabusa because it's just got the standard ones on. So it's like, you know, I'm going to be spending all this money anyway. Um, I'll take it in store credit. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So I've got 5,004. It's probably actually cost him 4,007. <laughs> <laughs>